There continues to be a huge debate about the effects of certain types of high blood pressure medicines or heart failure medicines and their potential effect on increasing the uh, severity of COVID-19 infection. What we know about COVID-19 is that on its surface it has proteins called S proteins. These S proteins we know can bind with the ACE2 receptor that commonly is found on the cells of our lungs but also in our gut. Now when the virus binds to the ACE2 receptor it gets into the cell and does its damage. What is proposed is that those patients who are on ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers tend to have upregulation of ACE2 receptors on the cells of their organs, particularly in the lungs. And it is suggested that this might increase the ability for the coronavirus 19 to enter the cells and therefore create a more severe illness. Now, the contra-argument to that is one that revolves around the substance called angiotensin 2. We know that angiotensin 2 um, can create uh, pulmonary hypertension, can create hypertension, can create um, uh, high sodium environments through its aldosterone pathway and hypokalemia. All of those features that we see in a cytokine crisis and also in COVID-19. And it is suggested that ACE2 uh, um, receptors are very important at mopping up the excessive angiotensin 2. If you're on ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers, we also reduce the amount of angiotensin 2 that are in our bodies, or certainly with angiotensin receptor blockers, augment the body's ability to clear this angiotensin 2, the substance we believe to be harmful in the cytokine crisis. So there are two schools of thought. One school is upregulation of ACE2 might increase the entry of COVID-19 into the cells to create its damage. The other is that ACE2 is important in mopping up the excessive angiotensin 2, which in itself might be the cause of all of the injury that we see during the cytokine crisis in COVID-19. For now, the advice is that if you are on ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers, you should continue on those medicines unless advised to stop them by your doctor for probably reasons other than COVID-19.